So got a whole bunch of poles rigged with fire tigers going to bottom bounce in the pond this morning. Got me, Tomas, and John out here. Back to Port Sulphur in the dark. Going to catch some fish. Saw an awesome shooting star a minute ago. I hope that's a good omen. Well, I stayed in the pond over an hour this morning bouncing the swim bait on the bottom and I didn't do nothing. I came out here and uh, started throwing a gold spoon as soon as the sun's peeking up. And I just got a hit on about my third cast. So, I'd have been the wrong bait in the wrong spot at daylight this morning. There we go, look right there, right there, right there. Nice, nice fish too, and I think it's a trout. And it is. Man. See if he's gonna make 12. It's in the wrong spot with the wrong bait. I have to hope he's 12, because he is torn up. Oh yeah, easy. Splash right there. Another one, 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 another one. They ain't monsters, but if they make 12 inches, I'll be more than happy with them. So I just saw a little splash and I threw to it. Boom. Nice fish. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, he's 13. He's 13. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably should have stayed over there where I got them bites. And then I say that and then I get a nice, nice trout right there. Oh, that's a good one. In the boat, in the boat. Yes, sir. Calm down. That's a good one there, boy. Get a good grip on him. I'm not losing any more out the ice like the other day. For the bait action out here, <clears throat> I'm tempted to swap to a swim bait and bounce it on the bottom, but I'll give this gold spoon a little bit more work here, and then we'll see. The thing about the gold spoon is trout get off that treble hook easy. That swim bait, you get a hook, hook set, they're hooked. Trout, I should have my net out. And it is, and I should have my net out. Lord, Lord, Lord. See how he spit it at the last second there? Oh, Lord. Lordy B, Lordy B. Look at this trout. Look at this one. Don't drop him over. I'm gonna have to get my net out after this one. I'm gonna have to get my net out after that one. Boy, he was hooked good, and luckily, luckily. Lately, when I've been cleaning these specks, they've had minnows in them, and you would think you would have 
Got your bites on a swim bait, a minnow, with uh, hitting a gold spoon, which in my opinion looks more like a shrimp than a minnow. But maybe it's the vibration and the reaction strikes. Thinking about swapping to a uh, to a swim bait, and then this one hit. They're not huge, but they're all keepers. Nice fish. Nice fish. Well, almost did it again. Man, I mean, the second I threw it out there, it hit. It ain't fighting like a trout, though, but it is. Ooh, it's a nice one. Man, I want to I wanna try a swim bait on the bottom, but if they, they hitting the gold spoon like this, why swap? Why swap? Another nice one. Swapped to a swim bait and I got one on instantly. I didn't want to take the time to turn the camera on. <laughs> well, I had him. That might be the ticket to swim bait. <laughs> Get him in the box first. Got some nice trout in there, boy. Some nice trout in there. I swapped to the swim bait because I thought. That's what they wanted. I got one fish on it. I'll go back to the gold spoon. I don't know if the bite just ended or if this is the bait they want. Got either eight, nine, or ten in the boat. I, I lost count. Big, big ones. He fought a lot bigger than this. <laughs> Let's see. He put on a fight. Oh, yeah, almost 12 and a half. Oh, he is 12 and a half. Just hooked up with something that feels like a small red. <laughs> exactly what it is. Little rat red. Pretty little fish. That's good. I don't like to disturb their slime and all too much when you when you get them. I don't know if I'd call this a hurricane Ida victim. It looks like it was a victim long before the storm. <laughs> Old wood boat. They probably towed it out here out of the harbor and sunk it. All right, today's time to eat the bait. We're going to do a smoked red snapper throat. So a couple weeks ago, I made a snapper fishing trip, and you save the throats of them and you smoke them. I brine them and smoke them, and this is a delicious treat when you're out here. You just peel the skin off, and look at all the smoked meat in there. So smoked red snapper. Mm -hmm. And it is delicious. So I just peel the scales and skin off. And eat all the meat that's down in between all these bones. So smoked snapper throat. Some people call them snapper wings. I made a video of when I did it. So after, after this video posts this week, I'll have the smoke snapper wing video up on the on the web. I don't smoke it hard like jerky. I smoke it till it's still tender and moist. You can do the same thing with redfish. I've done them before too. They're delicious. 
the smoked red snapper throats, a delicious treat to eat when you're out here fishing. Not all time to eat the bait comes in cans. Some you make yourself. <laughs> now let's get back to fishing in Port Sulphur. Didn't have the camera on. Have to get your boys to come by and they give themselves a shout out on the channel. <laughs> before, before we leave. Nice speck there. <clears throat> Under the birds. Oh, I'm dead. I, I like to go fishing here a lot. It's fun. <laughs> Alrighty, man. <laughs> Out there and go fishing. <laughs> there <you> go. <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna lose them because I'm too stubborn to get my net. Oh, John, look at this one. Whoa! <laughs> That's a pretty one. That's a pretty one. Might get them in the ice chest without dropping them overboard. Another one with the camera off. Way, way over 12. Ooh, another nice one. Whoa! That's why you need a net. Way. Yeah, he jumped in the boat. <laughs> I think I'm around 15. Oh, maybe 16. Well, this is a good one here. He's taking drag. Ho, 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 ho. Oh man, beautiful fish. Maybe that's... Y'all come on up here, don't worry about pinching me out. I'm, I'm a firm believer when they're biting, get them, you know? Gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I hate to handle them too much when they think they might not be a keeper. Well, he makes it by a half inch. Tiger. <laughs> oh. oh, that ain't right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the. Uh, I'm not good. I'm just lucky. <laughs> All right, let me do a death chest count. 16 specks in a death chest. 16. That's a good day. Leaving another fishing trip. This week I bought a whole bunch of bass fishing stuff and I was hoping I wouldn't hit the specks big today. So I'd go bass fishing, but I've got 16 specks. I'm going to have to come back. Bass fishing will have to wait. So 16 specks in Port Sulphur. Till the next video, get out there and go fishing.